Hi guys, I am back. Thank you for tuning in, and this is my third episode of Justin Norton Olympic Sailing, which keeps you up to date with my life and my training as I pursue my campaign to Tokyo 2020, as well as race on the international stage to get there. rundown usually goes we will start with fitness and on the fitness side of things I have finished week one of strength now it is significantly lower volume than the previous hypertrophy cycle and with the wind in and cycling as well I'm in the gym two three days a week and what I'm doing there is mostly yes the the numbers on the bar are up but I'm focused on moving the bar quickly to make sure my nervous system is fast firing and awake uh, and I like it a whole lot more, uh, it's more enjoyable. Uh, on the bike I am also riding two, three days a week. Uh, this is more base training, uh, looking at the whole year. So I'm typically riding 100 kilometers a week and at about 130 heart rate for, for all of that just to build a big anaerobic base and it's it's been pretty good. Uh, I noticed that I'm getting more and more tired uh, as the temperature increases here. On sailing. The other side of things, probably the most important thing, definitely the most important thing. Uh, we had just Merrick and I out all week and the breeze was mostly consistent, but one day we got glassed out, so it was cool to work on the, the light air side of things, which is still the weakest part of my game, but definitely seeing solid improvement there. Uh, one really cool thing we did uh, was we went big boat sailing on Saturday, and this is something I've been uh, after for a while just because you're elevated off the water and it was Yannick Gentry, Merrick and I uh, all in the cockpit and the thing I really liked about that was I was able to take the focus off boat speed and really look around the race course so an area I'm trying to improve on is strategy, where to go on the race course and uh, we talked beforehand just to sort of get on the same page that everybody was relaying information about what they saw. So I learned a lot there and, and had a lot of fun. It was a welcome change of pace from the laser. Uh, your legs don't hurt as much sailing that, so that, that was really fun. A tertiary category that I haven't really touched on is my mental well-being and arguably the most important of fitness, sailing, and, and all that. Um, Mentally, I'm in, in a very good place right now. I'm very motivated day in, day out, uh, and just really enjoying the process, which, which makes me happy. Uh, one thing which is a bit bizarre because I, I'm pretty fatigued most days is I've been having trouble sleeping. Uh, not quite to the point of insomnia, but probably for four days this week, I was up till two, three in the morning, uh, just sitting there wondering why I can't sleep and we've all experienced this at some point probably some more than others and uh, it's a terrible feeling uh, it's frustrating you're wondering why you're not going to sleep and uh, if anybody has uh, information uh, about how to deal with it naturally uh, I very much appreciate that I've also been working with my coach a little bit on it and uh, I'm going to bed earlier, but it still takes a while to go to sleep, and I don't know if that's an excitement thing. I am very excited these days. Uh, next week we have the Westmex Regatta here, which will be a little informal regatta, uh, but good to practice starts and race against training partners. And then the week after that I head to Palma de Mallorca, which is, um, it's been my dream to sail there for a while, and it's a very good event. Um, I'll touch on that in a separate video uh, a little bit more, but uh, I, can't, I can't believe I'm going, so. I'm, I'm very excited and great. And last but definitely not least, you know, everybody's been telling me like, oh, you sailed with Merrick Zaletsky, oh, you're so lucky you get to sail with Merrick Zaletsky. Well, I have a treat for you, and that is the full undisclosed interview on a bridge with Merrick Zaletsky, and he's gonna give us a few words about his Olympic campaign and, and training down here. So let's move to that now. Hi, I'm uh, Merrick Zaleski. I'm uh, campaigning for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and I'm down here training with Justin for a couple of weeks. So I graduated in May. I graduated from uh, Harvard University in, up in Boston and uh, I sailed for four years um, for my college team and I was a starter for them and uh, went to nationals and, and did the whole 
whole collar sailing circuit. And I find that that it's really helpful in in Olympic laser sailing, in light in well, first of all, in offshore conditions, but also in, in when it's kind of light air and you really have to um, play the game of puff and shift. Uh, I think a lot of times people get stressed out when a shift doesn't go their way and actually end up um, kind of adding to their mistakes by trying to solve all their problems in one big move. Whereas I think college sailing, especially sailing on the Charles River, taught me that you're never really out of the race until the race is over. Like you could be on the last upward leg to the finish and you can still pick up five, ten boats um, pretty, pretty easily, especially in light and shifty conditions. So I think that's currently one of my one of my big strengths is, is just remaining really calm. Uh, I've known Justin for a couple of years now, just through the laser circuit, and uh, I think we have similar backgrounds in school and similar similar uh, interests in, in kind of life as a whole. Uh, whether it be like music taste or just like what we like to do on a Friday, Saturday night. So I think I think. Through a combination of all of those things, and the fact that he's just a nice guy, I, I, um, I've had pretty good contact with him over the last couple of years, and, and this op opportunity to come down here presented itself, and it was kind of uh, a no-brainer because it's a really good training venue, a really good um, place where you can kind of focus specifically on your sailing, and and uh, and with a good friend of mine. So we have a week and a half, just about, of uh, training left here in the cruise. Uh, and then we have one of the, the hardest events in all of Mexico, it's the West Mex Regatta. So I'm really excited to, to, to sail that and kind of square off against some of the guys I've been training with and, and sailing with for the last couple of weeks. And after that I have to drive home uh, all 2,800 miles to, uh, to New York, leave everything there. Uh, I have a nice weekend off where I'm going to get to see some of my home friends and, and, and college friends. And then I'm flying to Europe and driving across Europe and I'll meet Justin uh, at Palma, and we're going to sail the uh, Palma de Mallorca event. That'll be 10 days in Palma, and then I'm probably going to do um, here and some training in Lake Garda and Medemblik uh, in the Netherlands over the next uh, month and a half before Justin and I meet up again and do all of our uh, our summer sailing together. You know, PCCs, North Americans, U.S. Nationals, and, and the like. Nice. Well, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to catching up with you in the future. Thank you. So a little bit uh, less video of sailing this week in the update. I recently dropped a edit, uh, March into Spring, which encompasses more of just the sailing side of things, and it's a fun little edit. So if you haven't checked that all out already, head to my Facebook page, and it's there. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it on Thursday. Just kind of got inspired. One of my mentors uh, told me to do what feels natural, and, and making that that day felt natural, so I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, YouTube. Um, if you can't wait to get enough of Justin Norton sailing, head over to YouTube and subscribe. Uh, everything goes up there first, probably a day so in advance, just to, to make sure it's buffered. And if you can wait, then you should subscribe anyway for all the extra goodies. As always, I appreciate you guys' support and checking in, and I'm just having a great time making solid progress, and like always, I'll keep you updated. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.